Hi there, in this assignment we're going to practice captioning a Kaltura video. To do this we first need to create or import a video and then request captions for the video and then go ahead and edit the captions to correct them. So let me walk you through the steps for doing all this. Let's start by clicking the blue submit assignment button and that will pop up this text entry editor window and we need to add a video into this text editor box by clicking on the V button at the bottom row of the editor toolbar. If I click on that, I'll see an option that says Embed Kaltura Media, and then click on that. And after a second, the Kaltura Add Media dialog will appear. If you already have a Kaltura video listed below here, like I do, you can select it to use in this assignment if you wish. But most likely, you're going to have to add a new video or create one uh, by clicking this Add New button. And this presents you with different options for creating or importing a video to use uh, for this assignment. If you've already created a video with a different tool like say Screencast-O-Matic or Screencastify and you saved that video as a video file on your computer, you can select Media Upload to upload that video file. Um, most likely though you don't have a video already so you can either choose to record a video in, using your webcam right now. It should only take about 30 seconds to a minute. Or you can import an existing YouTube video by choosing the YouTube option. You can paste in the, the link to an existing YouTube video that you want to use here. Or you can use the Capture Space tool, which will uh, create a screencast, which records your computer screen while you're talking. So let's go with the webcam option. That's the quickest and easiest option if you need to create a new video. You click on the webcam recording selection here under the Add New. And that will may provide uh, an error that says you need Flash, so we need to enable Flash in our browser. I'm using the Chrome browser, and to enable Flash here, you want to click this little eye icon next to the URL. And we want to go to Site Settings, and that will pop up in a new tab. And we want to look for the item that says Flash and change it to say Allow. Okay. And then if I go back to the tab where I was, um, I can try the webcam recording option again uh, after I reload the page here. Reload. So I have to um, click the V button again and say Embed Kaltura Media, Add New Webcam Recording. And now it's going to load the webcam, so you should see me after I click Allow again, and then Allow again. <laughs> that should only happen once. And here I am. <laughs> so just click this red circle in the middle. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that now and start talking. Just pretend like you're introducing yourself for a course or welcoming students to your class. You might need to adjust the camera or the sound or so on. I do recommend if, when you're creating a real video to use a headset like I'm using here or a standalone USB microphone for better uh, audio quality. Uh, every webcam has a built-in microphone, but it's just a tiny little pinhole, so it's not so great. Once you're, you've made at least about 30 seconds or more of video with you talking, click the square in the middle here. And then I click Save to save the video. And I have to wait for it to process that video, and I'm going to enter a title for the video. I'm going to say sample video introduction, or in your case, you might say introducing myself, or your name, if you want a description, any tags. Then I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to scroll down, and uh, it looks like I have to hit Save again to actually submit the video for the text entry. And really what I should click here is back to browse and embed. And it will take me back to this list of existing Kaltura videos I have. And you see the new one that I just created. So I'm going to click select to select this video to embed into the text editor for this assignment. Let me scroll over to the right so you can see it more clearly. You can choose uh, with this arrow to what size video to embed, small, medium, or large. I'll just say medium and it may take a second to insert the video into your uh, assignment text box. There we go, and it uh, shows my video is loading in the text box here. Uh, since I just recorded it, it's still showing black. There we go. And then I click Submit Assignment. 
that's the first step. Uh, the next part, though, is that we need to add captions to that video that we just created and submitted. To do that, we can go to My Media. That will show all your Kaltura videos again. And again, sometimes it's a little slow to load. There's the list of videos. I'm going to click on the video that I just created so that I can request Kaltura to order captions for the video. I can tell the video doesn't have captions right now because there's no CC button at the bottom. But if I go down, let me zoom out a little bit and so it looks a little bit more like it normally looks. And there's underneath the video is a button that says Actions. If I click on that, there's an option that says Order Captions. I click that and then there's another button that says Order Captions. This will order automatically generated captions that are generated by software. And that may take up to a few hours or so, maybe less, depending on how long your video is and how busy the Kaltura servers are. I'm going to click OK. And now we just wait, uh, come back uh, whenever you like, maybe after a few hours or the next day, and click on My Media and click back to this video again to see if it has the CC button. And now, then we'll be ready for the final step, which is to go in and edit those captions because the mach machine-generated captions are likely not going to be perfect.